Now we're going to cut window mats in 3 16 foam core for fabric line mats. So the first thing we're going to show you is changing the blade out to cut a 3 16 foam core. These 3 16 foam cores, when you cover them with foam, with um, fabric mats are a real popular thing now. They have great depth and dimension to your framing. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to unloosen the blade, take out our traditional regular mat blade, and now we're going to add in the traditional utility blade, the angled traditional utility blade. We're going to add that in. And what I've done is I've raised up, I've raised up my bar, put my slip mat in, and I have my foam core in so I can measure the exact depth of the blade. I'm going to push the blade down, and I got to push the blade in just till it, just till it goes into, into my slip mat. And I have to slide it in enough to go into the slip mat. I'm slide it in a little bit more forward. Tighten that. Confirm it's going into the slip mat. Now that we've adjusted our thickness, perform a normal mat cutting, window mat opening cutting. And we're going to do this at three and a half, three inch. I have it set up at three and a half inch. Do your traditional four cuts. Because I don't like to adjust my blade, I just do that manually. I don't do the fine tuning adjustment because I only do these cuts every now and then. If I was going to do a large production run, I would adjust it real critically. So my over and my under isn't exactly precision. So all I do is take one of our scrap blades and come back and cut those out. If you're going to do a lot of those in production, then what you're going to do is you're going to go adjust that critically. But I'm doing mostly traditional window mats, and I don't want to mess up my adjustment for those cuts. Okay, here's our quarter, 316 inch foam core, ready for a fabric wrap.